Welcome to Train for Aptitude. In today's session, we discuss about the second concept in the problems related to train. Let us now look at the problem. A train moving at 85 km per hour overtakes a man running in the same direction as the train at 13 km per hour in 9 seconds. What is the length of the train? Our options are A. 810 meters, B 225 meters, C 180 meters, D 648 meters. Let us now begin visualizing the problem. The train is moving at 85 kilometers per hour in the direction as shown. The person is also moving at 13 kilometers per hour in the same direction. An important underlying assumption in these kinds of problems is that the train and man both move at a steady pace throughout the distance. Also note that the width of the person is extremely negligible compared to the length of the train and therefore we can neglect that additional distance. The second important thing to note is the units of measuring. The units of measuring the speed of the train and the person are in kilometers per hour while the time to overtake is given in seconds. We would need to make these units uniform. Let us now look at the second visualization. In this scenario, the train has overtaken the individual running. What is important to note here is that while the train was overtaking, the individual continued running at a constant pace. However, the total distance that the train would have covered in order to completely overtake him would be the length of the train and the dimension of the person. However, given that the dimension of the person is extremely small, we can neglect that and therefore the distance covered by the train is nothing but the length of the train itself. At this juncture, we would also need to make a choice in how we would go about solving the problem. One way is to calculate the total distance that the train would have covered in that time, then subtract the total distance traveled by the person at that speed within the duration of 9 seconds. The second approach is that we look at only the relative speed of the two objects, that is the train and the individual, and calculate the actual distance traveled using relative speed approach. We would prefer doing it the second way. Let us now solve the problem. What is given to us is that the speed of the train is 85 km per hour, the speed of the person is 13 km per hour and both these are moving in the same direction. The time taken to overtake the person is 9 seconds. Step 1 is calculation of the relative speed. The direction of the person and the train are the same. So we would need to subtract the speed of the person from the speed of the train to calculate the relative speed. In this case, it is 72 kilometers per hour. The next step is that we need to get the units of calculation consistent with that of the time. We do that as in the earlier example and we have the speed of the train as 20 meters per second. The next step is pretty simple. We would need to calculate the distance covered by the train in that time which is 20 meters per second into 9 or 180 meters. That is the answer. Let us now try to generalize it. We begin with first looking at what is given to us. The speed of the train, the speed of the person and the time taken to overtake. The next step to generalization is that of calculating the relative speed depending on whether the person is moving in the same direction or in the opposite direction we will need to take a choice on the signs of relative speed. You would need to note that in this case we have already calculated the relative speeds. Unlike in the earlier concept where we first made the units uniform and then made the relative speed calculation. This is simply to avoid the additional calculations that one, need, one would need to do. We have already calculated the speeds in the relative terms 
the time taken and now it is just a matter of calculating the distance using the standard formula that is speed into time and therefore we reach the answer thank you for watching train for aptitude